We're back on the big show. It's the magic of the musicals, and it's always nice to meet old friends. Charlotte, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. And Brenda? I'm very well, thank you. Now, the reason I like you two is because you're delicious and you're talented and you're gorgeous and you're the stars of Chicago. And here we are on Broadway talking again, probably 500 years since we last spoke, and you're still doing it and you're still looking amazing. How is that possible? I'm not quite <laughs> sure. It's a lot of Ben Gay and Advil, I think, <laughs> and, uh, and determination. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we, you know, we, we've been doing these parts for a long time, so they're kind of in our, in our bodies and in our souls. So uh, it's not much, you know, we just kind of go out there and, and live mm-hmm. pretty much. Um, so it, and it's a joy to be back performing with Brenda, yeah. who I love doing this show with. She's so amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a workout. <laughs> it's my workout. It's my workout for the day. <laughs> and that's the thing about this show. There's no room for you to be clinically obese, is there? No. Uh, if you want to be clinically obese, you're in trouble. <laughs> but no, this show, it puts you through it. It really does, especially these two parts. Yeah. Well, there's everything, isn't there? There's running, there's climbing upstairs, there's Cart- killing ladders. people. Mm-hmm. There's ladders. Let's not forget the ladders. <laughs> and the cartwheels. We have cartwheels to do. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So- sometimes there's somersault I add in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a contemporary story, although it's very old now. Um, the manipulation of the press, and we see it every single day, and especially with your election, we've just seen it there where everybody wants to get their message across, don't mm-hmm. they? Yeah, exactly. And I think that's what is keeping Chicago going. In a, in a sense, because it is still a, a you know a subject that's very relevant today. You know, you, you no matter where you go, people want their fifteen minutes in the sun or whatever they spotlight. want to call it in the spotlight. So yeah. Is there any better gig than this? Because it really does give you a chance to shine. And the one thing for both of you is you both get a chance to sing great songs, sing them well, sing them loud, and look gorgeous and look marvelous, and then dance and do everything. It's a it's a showcase for you, really, isn't it? Yeah, I I, I don't think there's a better gig, truthfully. I mean, these roles are amazing, and the show's amazing for women. I mean, the women are the stars, and that's very rare in most shows. And um, and to have two parts that are equally as strong is also rare so um yeah it is a great and it's fun like i i notice with certain shows you know that i'm in you know you you do doing eight shows a week you take it home with you mm-hmm. and uh and with this show i take it home with me so i go home i feel sexy mm-hmm. i feel fabulous but you yeah, know also the beauty in it is that you don't have to be 20 years old and i think the fact that we're mature women and we're still able to do this and still able to be sexy and people look at us and go, wow, oh my God, how are they doing that? That's rare on Broadway as well. And as as far as, far as television and movies are concerned, because once you become 40, that's it. Usually they're like, okay, so much for you. Bye. So you're 21, 22. How old are you now? Yeah, Charlotte is older 26. than me. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, you're 24? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlotte is older than me. <laughs> And I'm still kicking my legs, baby. That's right. That's right. I tell you. (laughs) And this is a show that's all about the legs, really. We get to see those. Congratulations on your legs, both of you. Oh, well, thank you. (laughs) Thank you very much. And as for the sing of it, because you get certain numbers where you get to belt and do big numbers, like I said earlier, is there any better feeling than having that pin focus on you and it's all about you? I don't think there's anything better than that. I mean, it's what we do and it's what we live for. We, you know, I know, I know Charlotte from young, me from young, little girls. We liked being in the spotlight and like having the, I'm a little shyer than Charlotte is. But um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> not, not according to that picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, we love being in the spotlight and this show is perfect for that. And it isn't one of those big Broadway numbers where it's all about the lighting and the scenery because there really isn't any. Mm -mm. No, and that's what I also love about the show. Well, first of all, there are very few costume changes, which is just (laughs) heavenly. (laughs) You have like two. I have a little bit more, but not much. It's it's easy, and that's nice. Uh, Actually, when I did a course line, I only I didn't have any costume changes in that either. That's (laughs) nice. I love that. I love it. But um, yes, the I love the. It's about the talent out there. It's about us. It's not about the scenery. It's not about the smoke. It's not about. There's nothing. Nothing this flies is, really yeah. in and out. It's you know. And so, so that's what makes the show. I mean, besides the brilliant music and the orchestra and all that stuff that makes the show, but it's it's the people up there. And the director of the show, Walter Bobby and Anne Rankin, the choreographer, they've really allowed 
performers to bring their own personalities to these roles. And that's also why I think the show has run as long as it has, because people want to see, oh, how is she going to play Roxy? Mm-hmm. You know, and everybody does it so differently. Or how is she going to play Velma? And, and B.B. Newworth came playing both roles, you know? And, and it's so it's a different take. It's not completely, you have to play it this way. Mm-hmm. So it brings out the best in a performer. It allows the performers to be free out there every night. And that's thrilling with this show. And as you know, I'm not original. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked you last time, but do you consider why you, why you were chosen and the hundreds of thousands of other dancers and singers that applied for the gig were turned down and you got it? I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think <laughs> I think it's pretty much what Charlotte says, is that... <laughs> and modest. Yeah, yeah, I'm modest. I had a good I'm, day I'm that sure. day. Right. <laughs> it was a good day for me. Well, you know, how do you get any role? It's your turn. And whoever is is auditioning you whether it's the director or the producer or whoever they see something in you that they go I want that in my show I think that that's going to be a good thing for my show so it's like anything else and you can be lucky you can be lucky and you can get that if you're lucky but you're not lucky if you get asked back are you really because that means that they must really like you right Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they like it if you get good reviews. Mm-hmm. And if you get good reviews, then you get called back. <laughs> and Simple as that. Easy to work with. Easy to work easy with. To work with. Important. Mm-hmm. important. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a very important, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, they do. It's been nice. It's been the best. I, I thank God for this mm-hmm. job because it's been consistent. And uh, it's always there. And, and we come back, and it's for short times or long times. And mm-hmm. it's it's nice to have. It's really nice to have. I just want to talk to you about Broadway generally because we're here on 49th and Broadway, which is right smack bang in the middle, which is great for location, but bad to get in and out of for you. Does that ever lose you the impact of coming into Times Square and your theatre's right there? No, I'm from New York, so it, it's just another day. You know, a lot of times people people do ask that. Oh, my God, there's so many people. Is it? And it it's what we do, and it's how you get around in New York. You know, you take the ch- subway, you take the bus or whatever, you knock the tourists out of the way, and you I got <laughs> show to do and it, <laughs> but it's part of 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 the new york experience that i mean i'm from new york it is me you know i, I, I right there with her i'm from new york too so it's just it's natural to yeah. me i mean i actually do remember though i mean I, i've been on broadway i think the first show i did was cats and it was in the ni- 1982 there were a lot less people here mm-hmm. that i can say now the tourists are i mean it's getting out of the subway and coming here on a matinee day it's mm-hmm. like oh you really do have to fight Thank your you way i actually walk mm-hmm. in the middle of the street that's mm-hmm. the way i do it mm-hmm. because i can't you know <laughs> yeah. um but it's but it used to not be that way i mean it was a very different time mm-hmm. when in the 80s you know, Sean, if it's okay, I'm going to edit that bit out and we'll do the bit about the limo dropping you off with a police escort because that sounds far more showbiz. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, we do have limos that take us home. Yes, we do have a car home. But that that's that's fun. And, that you know, after doing this type of show, it's nice to go out and get in the car and go home. You know, the first year I was here, I didn't have that. And to get on the subway and people say... Didn't I just see you on stage starring on Broadway? And I was like, yeah, no. Okay, leave me alone. Go by. <laughs> Go away. I, 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 I needed two yeah. bucks to pay for the I subway. <laughs> exactly. And then this time of year is getting very cold and it's going to get colder still. Is that better for you or is it better doing it in the summer when it's 120? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it is a little harder to, to warm up once we get to the theater. But, you know, after after they call half hour, you're already ready to do your show, whether it's to warm up a little extra or not as much because, you know, OK, I, I don't have it tonight, you know, but you, you're already in the mind frame of, OK, I got to do my show now. You know, and I think the more you do it, sometimes the less you have to warm up because your body already knows what you're getting ready to do. But it, in the summertime, wintertime, for me, it's... How nice so and much. resonant your voice is. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Charlotte yeah, Demboise. Thank it. you so much. Yeah. Anyway, anything else? No, I just like <laughs> looking at you, to be honest with you. This wasn't a, a reason to interview. I just wanted to stare at you both again, because I remember you took me back those years ago, and there you were, so gorgeous. And you're more gorgeous today, both of you. Oh, thank you so much. And that's right, that voice is just delicious, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just uh, beautiful. <laughs> and I've got this uh, nothing uh, voice. But she does. She's got a fantastic voice. Uh, well, thank you. That's very sweet of you to say that. That's yeah. And congratulations, Brenda Braxton. Thank you very much. And uh, Charlotte Dubois. I love that name as well. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us on The Magic of the Musicals. Thank it's you pleasure. for having us. Pleasure. Yes.